This lesson is going to teach you how to use some of our mechanical drafting tools in order to bisect a line, an arc, and an angle. So one of the most helpful tools that you don't even think about using for bisecting these kind of things is your compass. And I'm going to show you some really useful tricks of the trade so that you can divide or bisect a line exactly in half. So first I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to open it up using the wheel and I'm going to extend it so that the compass lead, the graphite, is out more than what visually looks like a halfway point. Okay, this is kind of a guesstimate. And then I'm going to put the tip of my compass at the very end of the line. Now I'm going to create an arc with my compass lead, pick up my compass, and without changing the measurement, I'm going to put it in the opposite end in point B and create another arc. Okay, so now. When I have the arcs, I have two intersections of the arc. I will use a straight edge, and I, put my, I like to put my pencil tip at the very center point of one of those intersections and use my straight edge and just kind of pivot it until I see that it's aligned with the other intersection. And when I drive my pencil back and forth, I have now bisected that line perfectly in half. Also, it created a 90 degree angle, so that also created a perpendicular line. A lot of people think that there's gonna be some big magical change when it comes to an arc, but honestly, everyone, it is done exactly the same way. I'm not even changing the dimension on my compass for this exercise because my arcs are large enough that when I do this, I can create exactly the same arcs and bisect that arc in half. This distance is the same as this distance. So that's a really good and easy trick in order to bisect a line or an arc. But when it comes to an angle, there's got to be a couple more steps. So I'm once again going to use my trusty compass, and I'm going to shrink it down just a wee bit, um, and stick the compass tip into the angle intersection point B. Then I will create an arc that goes across lines A and C. Picking up my compass, I'm not going to change this dimension anywhere, but I am going to put it in on the line BC at the point where the arc crossed it, and I'm going to create a second arc. Okay. I will then move it to line AB at this intersection and do the same thing. Now that I have all of those lines there, I have this intersection and this intersection. And that those two dots are the areas that I'm going to connect with a line. And if you use your protractor, you'll be able to measure and see that this angle is exactly the same as this angle.